a good one. Yeah! It sounds like, like what they used to uh, holler down south many years ago before, <laughs> before they'd lynch one of us. what uh, to say to you, you know? I mean, I see you here, you all look beautiful, and I'm sober. And it's real strange feeling uh, being sober, because I got nothing to do tonight but go to sleep. <laughs> and I've been doing this, and it's really exciting, because I go to the therapist, you know, and I go see him, and I talk to him, you know, uh, how do you feel? And I say, I feel like breaking your fucking face. <laughs> like to pull your fucking guts out <laughs> and stomp on it, okay? Uh, that's fine. <laughs> I know the world is different because people tell me the world is different. <laughs> I was in the hospital and I was thinking about when I was in about three years ago, I burned myself up in, in there dying or whatever. And I, I got religious and shit. I used to say, God, please. All right, I couldn't talk that well, you know. It was more like, gravity, gravity, gravity. <laughs> And people would, you know, would send me weird cards, you know. <clears throat> people from all over the world, all kind of people. That's what messed me up. It changed my shit, because I'm real prejudiced. And it changed my, it changed something to me because they would send you weird cards like, hey, look, we, we don't necessarily like what you do. <laughs> we don't think because you burned up, you should die. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Africa, man, and I was real fun in Africa being with black people who are different black people. You know, I was, <laughs> I asked the African man, I asked him, said, what tribe do I look like I came from? And he told me, Italian. <laughs> Are you serious? No, you look, you look Italian. <laughs> oh, thanks. In Africa, they call me colored. The Africans, you know, they, uh, you colored in Africa. You have to live over there. Wow. I don't know, just the world seems different, you know. I watch uh, uh, preachers on TV begging for money every day. <laughs> every day. It wouldn't be bad if they begged one day. <laughs> you know, you give them something once. Yeah. Please send in your money for Jesus. Yeah. Like they know Jesus. <laughs> if Jesus would show up, he would scare the fuck out of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because... He would go over and say, hey, come here. Um, uh, me? Uh, what is this that you're talking about for me? Uh, I just was doing, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm happy I came here tonight, I think. <laughs> oh. I noticed me, I'm 40 years old. Kenny Youngman, God. Wow, that was a trip. <laughs> Very nice to see you. Oh, thank you. I was thinking that I'm 42 now, and I don't know, did you notice changes about you when you got to be 40? Did, I mean, I feel myself dying. You know, I know I'm changing, you know, because when I was like 20, I could lay in bed and piss into the toilet. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I'd wake up in the morning, my dick be hard as Chinese arithmetic. <laughs> and, and now, sometimes I, I wake up in the morning and panic because my dick don't feel like mine. <laughs> You know, I just look, ah, look, do something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> and I like younger, younger 
women. When I'm 42, I like younger, I like not even younger women, I like girls. I mean, I didn't know this girl. I'm sorry. I, 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 my daughter's 15. She brings home her friends. I go, God damn. <laughs> I said, uh, girls didn't look like that when I was 15. I said, I got your titties on there, God. <laughs> Only thing that saves them, is just one, they speak. Thank God. <laughs> Praise God. 